Hello, and uh, today what I'm going to try to do is a very quick uh, karyotype lesson for uh, my one of my pre-AP biology classes, or I guess one of my classes which is pre-AP biology. Um, we're in genetics, uh, talking about genetic disorders. In fact, I've got a genetic project that's actually going to be due in a couple of days. But what I'm going to show them on Friday, along with a PowerPoint that I have on genetics, I'm talking about Punnett squares, which I may actually do a video on fairly soon also. Um, but another thing we're going to talk about is uh, karyotyping. And the way we do the way karyotyping is done, and I really do appreciate people liking this uh, um, artistic value in genetics, because um, I seriously cannot imagine myself ever doing this. But what they do is they actually take a cell, um, just like this. This is in uh, metaphase, uh, one of the phases of mitosis, and what's happened is the chromosomes have aligned themselves along the center of them, of the cell, and it's actually got uh, spindle fibers going out to centromeres at both ends, and what's going to happen is the centromere is going to dissolve and it's going to pull one of the sister chromatids this way and one of the sister chromatids of each of the pairs going to different sides. So what the cell can do is then can uh, go ahead and this is an animal cell, you can tell that because it doesn't have the angular, it's got more of a round thing. So it's going to get what's called a cleavage fur furrow and that furrow is going to keep biting in deeper and deeper until eventually the cell membrane will touch and it'll form a cell membrane around one half of the chromosomes up there, a haploid set and one haploid set down here. But anyway, what the geneticist actually waits for is for a cell and it can be a skin cell, a blood cell, a muscle cell, some sort of a cell inside the body um, to go ahead and go through this phase, uh, metaphase, and then what they do is they lyse the cell, they cut the cell membrane um, they get rid of all the cytoplasm and everything else and they take these chromosomes and they um, put them in a container and then they try to match them. Now this is not quite exactly what they do but this one is a couple of steps forward. Um, what they've done is they've actually taken the individual chromosomes, uh, the ones that are alike, homologous pairs, and they've actually stained them so that they look like this. Um, it is a hodgepodge, and I can probably show you a little bit about what it would sort of look like, um, sort of like this. Um, this is from a site, um, Biology Corner, which is an excellent biology site, uh, worksheets, karyotype, chromosome study, teacher, um, where they've got, I think, four sets. Um, this is actually supposed to be a trisomy uh, 21, where we actually have uh, three of the um, chromosome 21. You're only supposed to have two, so it's trisomy. Um, and if you take a look, they actually have them pretty well matched. They just don't have them um, set up like they do in a regular karyotype. This is a normal karyotype of a human um, where we have 23 pair of chromosomes, uh, 22 what are called autosomal chromosomes, and then one pair, um, either two X's or an X and a Y like this, which are called the X, uh, sex chromosomes. Um, two X's give you female, an X and a Y gives you a male. But this is a normal set of human karyotype. Um, what they try to do is they try to line them up on this centromere, um, this uh, pinched in section of the two uh, sister chromatids and then they match up the chroma uh, homologous pairs or the homologous chromosomes um, by size, shape, whatever else and you can see there's set number one and set number nine and eighteen there is twenty one where this set would actually have a third one um, we didn't have a dis we had a disassociation uh, when they were supposed to separate back up here at mitosis um, what happened was if this was the tw 21st pair this double set goes this direction so this cell gets two of the chromosome 21's and then through sexual reproduction um, if this is the male or the female um, the spouse or the other partner um, dumps in their 21 and then all of a sudden now we have a, a set of three 21's and that actually gives uh, what is called Down syndrome um, this is a set that's actually been put together and you can see we've got three sets of the 21 chromosome. Um, this is a female, so this is a, a female with uh, Down syndrome, um, which has a very distinct set of uh, characteristics, um, which uh, you can look into deeper. I'm not going into genetic disorders, I just want to show you how one way we can find out that they're there. Um, so this is not a normal 
uh, karyotype for a human female. Um, there would only be two of these chromosomes. And then down here, um, this is another genetic disease. Um, this one actually happens to be a male. And if you take a look, 21, it's got the right number of sets. Um, there is a little bit of a funky information going on up here with the couple of these chromosomes, excuse me. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but I'm sure it has to do something with the photography. But if you look at chromosome set number four, you can see one is, uh, well, shall I say, wanting. And if you go down to chromosome set 18, um, same thing. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this would uh, pan out to in terms of uh, characteristics for the disorder, but I would definitely say that this this particular male has a good chance of having um, uh, disorder of some sort. Um, okay, so what we do basically is we wait for the cells to line up in metaphase. Um, we lyse the cell pulling out the chromosomes. We line them up on their center mirror um, and try to actually see if they look normal. Um, if they don't look normal, um, they have three sets or trisomies, or if they have four sets sometimes, or if the chromosomes don't seem to be um, the way they're supposed to be, there's a good chance that there is a genetic disorder. Okay, I hope this sort of makes sense. Um, appreciate you listening. Come back now, you hear?